Hi YouTube world, hi YouTube subscribers. Um, how are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Um, I am feeling a little crappy right now. I do have a migraine, but if you follow along my videos, you know I like to film when I have a migraine because I can't really do much else. So anyway, um, so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my puppy. So for those of you who follow, you know I got a puppy recently. So I actually got a dog in October and I wanted to tell you guys um, the story of my rescue. Uh, here she is. She's a baby. She's adorable. So my baby is, her name is Slash. Um, we named her after the guitarist um, for Axel and Rose, or I mean, Eh, not for Axel Rose, for Guns, what is it, Guns and Roses? Because um, we already have cats, and they're named Axel and Rose, so she is the third um, band member. So anyway, um, so we, me and my husband have been wanting a dog for a long time. Um, I haven't had a dog in like 10 years, which is, I've discovered is way too long not to have a dog if you're a dog lover um like me i will never wait again that long for a dog um i've decided <laughs> so um but we wanted to make sure everything was set in place that it was like the perfect timing and there really is no perfect timing if you love dogs if you always have owned dogs um just get yourself a dog because they are just such great companions but anyway, um, so we finally decided um, it was time to get a dog now that we have a house and I'm a nurse, so I have stable income and we have a nice backyard. Um, you know, just everything set in place. We have a gate, or we got our gate fixed, blah, blah, blah. So we went to um, our local dog rescue place um, called Halo and uh, they're actually in the mall near us. Um, there's a couple locations in Phoenix. But anyway, it's like a no-kill shelter. And sorry guys, I do apologize. I do kind of look like a mess. Um, I did just wake up and basically just took my migraine medicine. So sorry, um, I don't have uh, any makeup. Doing the makeup free look today <laughs> for you guys. I have no shame. Okay, anyway. ADD. So, we went to um, the Halo Rescue place one day and to start looking. And we were walking by. Um, they did have a few puppies. And Slash caught our eye right away um, as we were walking past her little glass... Um, enclosure she got right up and I mean she got up for us right away but you could tell she was like shy and she's looking at us through her little glass container and um she looked very cute she had big um you know big brown puppy eyes and my husband right away was like well, what about her and I'm like well she's cute um you know but we just started so we decided to go look at um, local pound places as well. Like I think we went to the local Humane Society, went to a couple pounds after Halo just to check them out and see what they had. And a lot of the pounds near us actually didn't have puppies or didn't have a lot of them because they had just done some event where they were like, you know, on sale trying to get rid of them. So, when we went to the pound, they didn't really have much. Um, there was, like, one other dog we were kind of interested in, but they were very hyper. And we wanted to make sure that whatever dog we got would be a good fit um, for our situation. And as you might know, we have um, three cats, so we wanted to make sure they were... Uh, kind of like sweet tempered and easy easy going 
So we wound up going back to Halo and we asked if we could actually see her, that we were probably interested in adopting her. So they took her out of the container, out of her um, little like crate or whatever, and she was so scared. Um, she had her tail tucked up as far as it could get under her belly. Um, she kind of ran in to the room where we were and just hid in the corner. Um, but she did go right up to my husband, which I was like, oh, that's a good sign. You know, like she, she wants to be with people. She's just very scared. Um, and after spending a few minutes with her, they were like, what do you think? And we're like, I think we want to take her because she was just so sweet and you could tell she had been through a lot, um, whatever she had been through. And she was still a puppy, and that's kind of what we wanted. Um, we wanted a dog that we could mold, uh, especially because we have cats. And we haven't had a dog in a long time, so we wanted, like, the whole experience, if you will. And, um... Sometimes with older dogs, there's a little more risk of them not working well with other pets if you have them if they haven't been socialized that type of thing so we wanted to make sure they'd be young enough that we could still mold them into being um sociable plus we hadn't had a dog in so long anyways um just rescuing a dog in general i think is great uh, no matter what age they are although i have had dogs from breeders before in the past but we, I did really want to rescue because there's so many dogs out there who need a great home. And I knew we could provide a great forever home as long as they got along with our cats, our first fur babies. So um, we actually wound up adopting her, of course. And we just did the paperwork. It was really easy. Um, she came with all her shots. She was already neutered. She wasn't very expensive. Um, and I just, I really do like the Halo organization. So all we knew about her, my little precious baby girl, she's so sweet. All I knew about her was, or all they could tell us was she came from Mexico. Um, I think she was found near the border and supposedly she'd been surrendered um, by somebody I don't know if she was homeless. I know there's a lot of homeless dogs in Mexico. Um, I also know sometimes dogs aren't treated very kindly in other countries like Mexico. Um, but for the first three days that we had her, she would not eat. Um, she wouldn't even go to the bathroom. I was so up. I was so worried. Like when we first had her. Um, we were trying everything to get her to eat, to go to the bathroom. I was about to take her to like an emergency vet by the third day. And then finally I got her to eat. We got her to go to the bathroom, but I, it was like um, nerve wracking. And when we got her from Halo, she was covered in like horse manure or something, some kind of poop. So we gave her a bath and, um, I got her to eat finally. I We were trying like everything. And the only thing I could get her to eat finally. Um, I had to go get a bacon like junior cheeseburger from Wendy's. And break off a little piece. And finally she ate that. I'm like if she doesn't eat this I don't know what she will. But she you know nobody can resist those. So that was how I got her to eat. Although now she's just on regular puppy food of course. But, and then going to the bathroom, we couldn't get her to go. I tried taking her to all these places, um, putting like pads down in the house, uh, taking her for walks constantly, all this stuff. But finally, um, my husband got her to go. He took her outside and she finally went like on the third day, just, you know, just giving her plenty of chances to go. And I think she was just 
what it was was she was just in so much shock because we when we adopted her I guess she had just gotten to Halo like she had just came from Mexico like the night before or something so I think it was all just such a shock for her and then on top of it um she obviously didn't come in like good condition so I don't know if she was abused I don't know if she was homeless what her story um, really was but you could tell from how scared she was that she had been through it she was very underweight um, she was terrified of everything uh, she wouldn't move off the couch for for like a week um, we had to, we still have to kind of um, encourage her to get off the couch a lot um, but she was absolutely just in shock and terrified of everything. My sweet, my sweet little angel. Um, the vet, when we took her to the vet, they said they think she was abused just because of how scared she was of everything. Um, they said that wasn't like a normal reaction. She was very um, scared of people, scared of dogs. Just scared of our cats just cowering at everything but we've had her now um since the end of october and she's come such a long way uh the biggest thing with rescue dogs is know if you're gonna get one they can be a lot of work uh you know puppies are a lot of work but sometimes rescues can be even more um, especially if they weren't treated well. So the biggest thing I've learned with her, my sweet angel, is just to be very patient, to just be consistent, um, give lots of positive reinforcement, especially if you think they were abused, um, to reprimand them when they do something wrong, but to not be overboard with her because... Uh, you can tell she's already had it so rough. Um, we're not letting her walk all over us, but at the same time, um, we don't want to be too hard because with her, it's a lot of getting her to come out of her shell and undo kind of what she, whatever she learned that made her be so scared of everything. Um, so anyway, she is a Border Collie mix is what the veterinarian said. Um, so she is, she does have a good bit of energy. Um, I tried to take her to the dog park a lot. When, we, when I first took her to the dog park, she was just terrified. She hated it. Um, she would growl at every dog and hide under the chair, my, under my chair she wouldn't move. She didn't really know how to be a dog, so she didn't know, like, to smell the ground. She she still doesn't really bark or anything like that, um, but she didn't know how to play with other dogs. She didn't know, she didn't know how to, like, play with a ball or stick or anything. Um, she obviously wasn't trained at all, but now she loves the dog park. And